Today, a heartfelt goodbye to a Metro officer who died from COVID-19 complications last month. The Las Vegas Valley remembers Lieutenant Eric Lloyd, who was laid to rest today. 8 News Now reporter Kristen Drummond shows us the service and the legacy he leaves behind. A final farewell to a man known for helping others. My friend got that ticket to heaven. And he did so much good things for everyone. Family, friends, and Metro colleagues honored Lieutenant Eric Lloyd at a church in Henderson. The 53-year-old's casket coming here following a procession from downtown Las Vegas. The guest list limited due to COVID restrictions, but the service featured various speakers and was live streamed. Tributes came in virtually from local, state, and federal leaders. I know his death leaves behind a huge loss, and the First Lady and I are keeping Lieutenant Lloyd's family and friends in our hearts and our minds. Some holding back tears while speaking at the podium and reflecting on Lieutenant Lloyd's zest for life as well as personality. As you have heard, idiot was among other things a term of affection from him. Others recall his integrity, professionalism, faith, love for his family, and being a leader. His stepfather says Lloyd personifies one word. It's a tough one to achieve. Charity. We will never know all of the small acts throughout Eric's career, but we do know that his remarkable character showed through his dedication in benevolence. Lieutenant Lloyd was an officer for 30 years with plans to retire in December. He was also president of the Injured Police Officers Fund. My father was a great man who touched so many lives in so many ways. Rest in peace, Eric. You will not be forgotten. His watch coming to an end, but his legacy lives forever in this community. Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now. Lloyd leaves behind his wife, two daughters, and five grandchildren along with his parents, and he was laid to rest at Palm Northwest Cemetery.